Hello and uh, welcome to this first lecture of the new section on accounting softwares and tools in this course, Finance and Accounting Fundamentals. So in this particular section, we will give you some in-depth view of the accounting softwares and tools applicable. And in this particular lecture, we will start talking about popular accounting softwares like QuickBooks. So what are the accounting softwares and tools that you can use? So let's look at some popular accounting softwares and within that that, that you have is uh, uh, the three that we will talk about in this course. Uh, QuickBooks in this lecture, then the next one zero and then FreshBooks. So three of them we will take a look at that. Then there are ERP systems, you know, uh, these are for larger companies uh, for enterprise resource uh, planning systems like SAP and Oracle. Whereas the QuickBooks zero and FreshBooks are useful for small and medium sized businesses. And then there are spreadsheets like Excel that can be uh, that are being widely used for financial modeling analysis and record keeping by everyone, more so by the individuals. So these are some of the accounting tools and softwares that you can use. So QuickBooks Zero and FreshBooks are popular accounting software solutions that are designed to help small and medium sized businesses. And it can help them manage their financials efficiently. Now, how can we be? How can that be done? Is let's take a look at uh, QuickBooks in this lecture, Zero and FreshBooks in the next lecture. So let's uh, look at the QuickBooks first. What is QuickBooks? Now, QuickBooks is a comprehensive accounting software that offers various features tailored for small businesses. In and those services include invoicing, expense tracking, payroll, and financial reporting. As of now, the time of uh, doing this video, QuickBooks was not available in India. It used to be, but it has been uh, taken away. It's available in US and probably other countries. So just be mindful of that. So that is what the QuickBooks is. Now, <coughs> how do you start with QuickBooks? So you need to sign up for the QuickBooks account and choose a plan that suits your business needs. So signing up obviously is the first step. Then you set up your company profile, including basic information such as business name, address, and industry. And then you connect your bank account and credit cards to automatically import transactions. So these are the first step of uh, getting started. Then you, uh, what are the key features of QuickBooks that you can use? <coughs> uh, the first feature that comes to my mind is the invoicing. You can create professional invoices, customize them with your logo and send them to your clients directly from QuickBooks. So the QuickBooks is good for invoicing. That's the first feature. Second, it can also categorize expenses and track them. Attach receipts, keep track of your spendings. Third, it can manage employee payrolls, uh, calculate taxes and generate paychecks. And uh, the fourth thing that we'll talk about, it can generate financial reports such as profit loss statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements to understand your business's financial health. <coughs> Few tips uh, while using QuickBooks. Quick First, you need to regularly reconcile your bank account to ensure that your record matches with your bank statements, especially when using your software that becomes extremely critical. And also important would be to use your mobile app to manage your finances on the go so that your books are updated on the go, really. So what is next? So having looked at QuickBooks, we will now look at in the next like zero, a, a fast, simple, simple accounting software. So thank you so much for watching this first accounting software and tools lecture in this course, accounting and financing finance fundamentals. I hope you continue to learn new things continuing to enjoy and I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture. Please feel free to message me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer your questions and do download the PDF file to take a look at anything that we have talked about in this lecture so far.